On the southern tip of the reef near Queensland is Morton's Bay, a favorite sailing destination for its crystal clear waters. But on May 9, 1980, Mel Dixon and his family sailed into the normally calm waters of the bay and directly into a cyclone. As the wind picked up, the sea picked up. And I believe later on they did say that there was a cyclone out at sea which hadn't been reported. By the time they realized the danger they were in, it was too late to turn back. We had made uh, radio contact and I was just hoping that somebody would come out and reach us soon. It just seemed to go on and on and on. While a police rescue boat headed for the Dixon's yacht, a local news crew picked up the distress call and was there to actually capture a series of miraculous moments on tape. Immediately after arriving, the one thing that everyone feared most actually happened. A giant 25-foot wave hit the craft, tossing it like a toy boat, destroying the mast and wrapping the anchor chain around its hull. Here was the first miracle. The battered boat was able to right itself and continue floating in the raging waters. Mel Dixon was actually thrown overboard during the 360 degree turn, and it was then that a second miracle occurred. The thin rope that fastened him to the ship held, and he was able to pull himself back on board to join his family. And Mel had concern for me because I was pregnant at the time. While they braced themselves for the next wave, the Coast Guard finally arrived, but couldn't reach the Dixon's yacht. Their small boat was trapped in a trough between another set of killer waves. Suddenly, they were struck, and now there were two more victims with no way out. I thought, oh no. I thought, here we go. Luckily, the Dixon's yacht was able to ride the waves to calmer waters. But for volunteer Coast Guard rescuers, Colin Ward and Vern Bunter, the drama was just beginning. And so was the third miracle of that day. A second news crew arrived on the scene. Their regular helicopter was in for service, but they'd grabbed a rental, a fully equipped rescue copter. Without any training for this type of mission, they proceeded to attempt to rescue the two men. First, Colin Ward. At this stage, we were sort of floundering around and wondering what we were going to do. And then suddenly we saw the helicopter about 10 feet above us, and he'd come, uh, come down very low. We saw the uh, door open, and the cameraman had put his camera down at this stage, and he was gesturing to come on board. The second rescue would be more difficult. With the boat bobbing wildly in the water, the helicopter pilot risks a close pass, and Vern Bunter jumps onto the skid literally hanging on for his life, and finally climbing to safety. I believe that day was, was a very lucky day for everybody, people on board the yacht especially, when they did that 360 degree rollover, they were extremely lucky. Was it luck or a miracle that the boat continued to float under these incredible conditions? and that those on board suffered only minor injuries. Lee had a little bruise on a hip. I had a, just a cut above my eye with a couple of stitches, and I checked the baby out, and the baby was still kicking and fine. Mel Dixon's injuries were remarkably minor. He had only a few cuts, the largest on his ankle requiring just six stitches. There was also a rope burn around his neck a reminder of the second miracle that day, when a safety harness withstood a force that even a ship's mast could not endure. This was a safety harness that I was wearing on that day, and as you can see, uh, she's almost severed through here. Uh, I don't think if I'd have gone back in the water another time that she would have held me. And finally, was it a miracle or just coincidence that a news crew found themselves in a rented rescue helicopter that day? 
For the Dixons and everyone else who lived through that terrifying experience, the answer is clear. It was a miracle.